Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. So going back to cryptics today and I'm going to talk you through myself of today's Times crossword, um, which didn't take me very long as you'll see. So here came the puzzle, um, just adjust it into the screen and I had a look at one down to start with. I, I think I glanced at one across and it looked like quite a long clue with short words, which implies there's going to be lots of bits of wordplay. So, moved straight to one down. Topless bathing area for every single. And for every was kind of saying something to me there. That can be per in crosswords, but it can also be each. And that made me think that a topless bathing area could be a beach. And I wasn't sure what single was doing in the clue, but I suppose for every single one can be something each one. Each one is each one. I don't quite know how for every single means each, but it seemed absolutely likely that, that this was going to be each. So, um, moved on to nine across. We've got nine letters beginning with a C. Army rations needing certain self-control. Well, the, the key there for me was the word certain, which has one obvious synonym, which is sure. And trying to fit that into a nine-letter word beginning with C, and when I say fit it in, probably not in the middle, it's... There's not many parts to this clue, so it seemed, and it can't be at the beginning because we've got a C, so it seemed quite likely to be at the end. The first word I could think of that fits with sure at the end and C at the beginning was composure, and that does mean self-control. So then we need army rations needing to somehow be giving us compo, and it struck me that uh, it is a military term for rations, it's compo quite dated now but I have heard it um, I don't know what that originally stood for to be honest but it doesn't really matter compo plus sure makes composure so now I did go back to one across because it, the clues seem fairly tractable and it looked it's obviously going to be helpful to have first letters of answers so if I could crack one across that would be very helpful record Interesting. Come back to that in a moment. Record suspicion about the man that's ruined city. Oh, actually, I suppose one should read the clue as record suspicion about the man that's ruined city. That's a slightly more likely reading. But record or record so often translates to either LP or EP, words from the vinyl, the days of vinyl records, long play or extended play. And... EP seems much more likely here at one across beginning with an E. So if it's going to begin with EP and that's wordplay at the beginning, then we need a city or more likely a ruined city as the definition for the whole word. And I did immediately think of Ephesus, given the beginning of EP, historic city in classical times and obviously we, I wouldn't have known it was ruined to be honest I suppose maybe I would if I thought about it um, but then suspicion and the man seem to be providing that H-E-S-U-S -S bit and suspicion can be shortened to sus and the man um, can be E so one across is Ephesus now I'm just stopping here and as you can see we're 22 seconds in um, on my time, got three answers done, and I've moved the grid for, for a second or two. So it's a heck of a good start. And at this point, I'm thinking there could be a good time to be had on this puzzle. Now, the way to progress fast is to use these letters. If you can get one letter in a clue, that kind of narrows the possibilities for a space down by a factor of something like, what, well, obviously one in 26 or something. So if you can get two letters, that narrowing down of possible words in the language is one in 26 squared. So, you know, it really is a huge advantage, especially if they're at the beginning of the words, to shape the thoughts. And I presume, I think, I look at two down next. Hat Mr. Boff's seen out in. 
And sli- leaving aside that the only Mr. Boff one knows is Frank Boff, a slightly um, poor reputation sports anchorman from the 70s and 80s. Um, it's unlikely to be referring to him. I suppose Mr. Johnny English has a has an associate called Boff, but I didn't think of him. But never mind about anybody actually called Mr. Boff. You think about a hat that begins H something M. And if you know your film noir genre, you'll know a Homburg hat and realise that Homburg is a perfectly good anagram of Mr. Boff. So what the clue's saying is that in the word Homburg, Mr. Boff can be seen out or kind of thrown out, deranged. The letters of Mr. Boff are out of order in Homburg. Have a look at three down then. Beer this thirst finally quenched. And I couldn't get that immediately, which is probably my inability to think of a beer that would fit this. In fact, I did think of a short being another alcoholic drink, but it didn't seem relevant to this thirst finally quenched. And I moved on to four down next. Illegal resident is comparatively thick. And again, this S and U are very helpful, but only if your your mind is liberal enough to think of a very unusual letter to go before the U. Not unusual before a U, but unusual in a grid. And in fact, we're just looking at a double definition here. Illegal resident and comparatively thick. Well, the illegal resident's very useful because somebody living somewhere illegally is often squatting there. And squatter can mean both an illegal resident and more squat than the next person, i.e. comparatively thick, not as in stupid, but thick set. Um, so then I moved on to this long phrase. Now, there's not going to be many phrases that fit 2 hyphen 2 hyphen 3 hyphen 6. Begins with a U. Surely the first word has to be up. The only other word beginning with a U with any regularity is us, and that can't begin many phrases. So up something, the possibly something. My first thought was up to the moment, but here it says present, which would fit present as a definition. But present is the concern of those who are very small, and moment appropriate, but minute in its other pronunciation of minute is very appropriate. So the concern of those who are very small is something that is up to the minute, which is quite a nice pun. So back to three down after that. Beer this thirst finally quenched. And even though I'd thought of short, I know it's not a beer, so I had to think of a beer now and stout did come to mind. And now that can be made up of this and thirst's last letters. So if you take this first, finally, you're just getting ST. And quenched, like a fire being quenched, so stout is made up that way. So then we jump on to five down. Spectator, we found absorbed by a German quartet. Um, surprisingly, you do need some knowledge of German here. Spectator might give you the answer, um, as it's the definition. But we being absorbed in the answer might help guide you to the right sort of spectator, who in this case is a viewer with fear, V-I-E-R, the German for four, on the outside of fear. Six down, so, oh no, five across, yes, leave without right coat. Now, without in crosswords can mean two things. It can mean its normal meaning of ignoring or dropping. So right is often R. So we might want a word for leave dropping the letter R. But without can also be used in the sense of put outside. So somebody who is without is outside. And if you put a word, a six-letter word for leave beginning with V outside R, you get a coat. Now the sort of coat you need to be thinking here is a coat of paint on a wall or on an object. And the final coat will be the varnish, which is vanish outside the letter R. So that's given us the first letters of six, seven, and eight down. And six down, the word plays very clear here. Monitor, perhaps, triplane I rebuilt. Well, rebuilt is a big clue there. That looks like an adjective 
describing these interesting nine letters in triplane I. But monitor, perhaps, is quite a difficult definition. And certainly I had to work that anagram with the letters I've got in the grid before I understood that it's not a school monitor or a computer monitor. It is instead a lizard-style monitor. And the answer to this anagram is reptilian. Very neat anagram, but hardly well hidden in the clue. Seven down, appropriate admission by poet. Well, I don't know. It's interesting. How, how does one know which poet's names one needs to know? I think in crosswords you come across a certain number of poets fairly regularly. And one of those who has slightly more currency in crosswords than they do in quotations or real life, as it were, is Ezra Pound. So an admission by Ezra Pound as to who he was would be I'm Pound which is not appropriate, but it is to appropriate, is to impound something. So that's the answer there. And again, I've come across Ezra Pound and Crosswords more than once. I mean, he's a useful way of defining pound without using the weight or the money. But I can understand that wouldn't appear obvious to a lot of people. So 10 across. P and P, very restricting pair there. Musician needing support to carry piano. Well, piano can be used as piano, the letter P, as it appears in music scripts. So that central P seems to be being carried by a support of some sort to make a musician. Well, the only musician that fits is piper, I think. And uh, that has peer as the support around it. I suppose it could be, is it John Piper, the conductor? But actually, I think it's referring to a bag piper or a, a horn piper. Eight down. Interesting letters for the first word of 5-5 five, five here. Western Shire, perhaps, taking over for each area. Well, there's that for each again. And um, this time it's not cluing every or each. Fact, Shire perhaps, I could kind of see that that ought to be horse. And then I sort of vaguely remembered that there is some word for a Western, the movie, which begins with horse. I couldn't remember what it is. I think I was getting mixed up with the fact that the dictionary also has OTA, O A T E R, as kind of variety slang for a, for a Western. But I couldn't remember what it was until I first of all tried to move on to another clue. And then I suddenly realised that I did know that it was horse opera. And over is the letter O, for each is per, and area is the letter A. Now, 13 across, I was struggling with. Urge page to wind turban. Um, I didn't think I knew many words. There's a patka. Um, but I wasn't seeing what the word play was there. And, or a right play worked or being able to think of a definition that would fit or a defined answer that would fit. So I moved on to 15, just looking at the grid that looked like wind up to me. Finish something designed to provoke, double definition, to wind up is to finish, and a wind up is a joke, something de designed to provoke. Just made a misprint there, which I needed to correct, costing me a few seconds. And just jumping on to the next across clue, no words, no letters in the grid. In fact, this grid's quite split in two, and we now only have two words. Having done half the grid, we only have two words that feed from the parts we've done. So we might well need, and I couldn't do that turban clue at 13 across, so we might well need to do something else. Science of drinks dispensers. Well, the drinks dispensers in pubs are called optics. Science. So another fairly simple double definition there. And then we move on to 19 across. Farm worker, currently present for time in season. Um, currently present. I wasn't sure which of those meant now, but I felt that one of them did. And I think it's in fact now. And if you try and fit now into this space here, it kind of has to go N-O-W there. And if that was the case, then the only word I could actually think of was winnower, which would be a farm worker, I suppose. 
And then you can work out that the word play puts currently or now is now present for the letter T in winter, the season. So once you replace the letter T in winter with now, you get winter. Um, so then after that, where did I jump to? Okay, 12 down, long one down. Racecourse owns mopeds for scrambling. Lovely wording of clue there, but not really concealing the fact that scrambling is a very clear anagram indicator. What's for scrambling in this clue? Well, it's this 10 letter string in owns mopeds. And I thought I could almost see speed in that. And I was thinking about speedway at first, probably because I'd read about mopeds and scrambling. But once I got speed out of my mind, and in fact, there isn't a second E, then I see that the owns mopeds is an anagram that gives us a different race course, Epsom Downs, where I was last week, funnily enough. And so then we move on to 14 across, skill securing constant success with city planner. Well, there's a lot of bits there. City can be er, ur, or ec, or various other things. Um, constant can be c, or k, or certain other letters, pi. Um, success can be win, or hit. But skill, skill is very often art. And if that's wordplay, then the other end planner is the definition. And if skill is securing something, then art is going around something and meaning a planner. And the way that, that works is to give us architect with constant C, success, hit, and city, EC, from its postcode in the city of London. And that makes up architect. 16 down, long-standing criminal, gate-crashing, free party. I don't know where I learned the word lig, possibly from private eye, but to lig or to go to a lig is to party for free. And once one sees lig, and you need a criminal to gate-crash it or go inside it, but long-standing, with beginning with L-I and ending in a G, suddenly see that that could be lifelong. So the criminal is a felon gate crashing the league, which is quite a neat um, construction. So keep moving on the downs. Vibrating noise and shaky metro line that's old. Shaky, very clear anagram indicator. So we need an anagram of metro, then we get L for line and O for old. And it all means a vibrating noise. If you know your music, or you've done a few crosswords, that's tremolo. And then the next down, we've got first W again, benefit of warning about magical being, or benefit beginning with W in seven letters. Um, I think the fact that it used the word benefit kind of made me think about state benefits, and that made me think of the generic word welfare, although I think welfare and benefit have probably a bit more synonymical meaning than that, but welfare works quite well as there's a magical being in it, the elf, and the warning outside is where. So that's fine. So after that, there would be no more downs with any crossing letters solved. So back to the acrosses and here, back to 13 across. And I think this is the hardest item of vocabulary in the puzzle. Well, horse opera is not exactly well known, but urge page to wind turban. And given the letters that have now appeared, P, G, A, and E, the same letters in page, suddenly I'm realizing that we could be looking at yet another anagram. And to wind could be an anagram indicator. Urge page is eight letters. And maybe even if you don't know the word, you could see it from that, although it might require a bit of a guess or an assumption at that point. But luckily, I read the Flashman books to know that puggery, which has various spellings, but that's one of them, is a form of turban. 22 across, how Cotswolds are claimed by farmers is long standing. And the letters are very helpful here, although maybe the first unchecked letter we have to enter isn't obvious. But long standing, fitting this pattern, could be dyed in the wool. Cotswolds, i.e. sheep of the Cotswold breed, might be marked by farmers to claim them. And 25 across, very straightforward, perfect sound from space. 
So a homophone for a word meaning space, and it all means perfect, and that's whole. 26 across change of opinion on boat race. Here, boat race is rhyming slang, in fact. Cockney rhyming slang says that a boat race is your face. On the, your face is about face, which is a change of opinion. Abruptly soon, simple double definition for shortly. Chap keeping a jolly item of clothing. Well, the chap's given a G at the beginning. It's either going to be a guy or a gent. Um, a jolly. Well, this is slightly dated military stuff as well. I think a jolly is a noun meaning a Royal Marine. So A R M is what a jolly represents. A clue. And you put that in a gent, you get garment. And now we've just got three downs to go. 21 down. Like a sauna group found in outskirts of Shrewsbury. Or Shrewsbury. Well, the, the definition here is like a sauna. And you may be able to then see what that answer is, given those letters in the grid. But the group is T something, A something. And the outskirts of Shrewsbury are S and Y. So the answer steamy with a team in SY. 23 down, power tools not starting outside. Well, only otter and outer would actually fit here, and otter, I suppose, that word for a horse opera I mentioned before, but I could only think of outer and otter. Outer fits the definition, although outside for outer is a bit feeble, as they both contain out, but that certainly seems to work. What the power tool is, I think, I'm not certain still, I think it's a router, which is a word I always used to pronounce router until it turned up in the quick, quick crossword as a power tool. And I think there is a router, unless it's grouter, not without its first two starting letters. So my assumption is that that's router without its first letter. I'm confident that the answer works with the definition. And finally, at 24 down, just as my phone rang, in fact, I got um, amphibian's leg removed by famous scientist. Well, the only amphibian I can think of that fits with that E and the T is this newt. And that requires Newton, a famous scientist, to remove leg, which is the leg side in cricket, which is the on side. So in cricket, leg is an exact adjectival synonym for on. And if Newton removes on, you get this newt. And there we are. And that's me doing a crossword in less than four minutes. Um, very straightforward times crossword. I mean, you can tell that from the number of double definition clues and the number of anagrams. Those are really things that one can go to town on if you're looking for a quick solve and you're ready for the vocabulary. Puggery, not straightforward. You know, horse opera, winnower. They're, they're not kind of obvious words, but the rest of the grid is fairly gentle general knowledge or regular crossword ease and quite good fun for all that, but, but a pretty straightforward puzzle, um, for certainly for a Wednesday. And those are the answers to this time's crossword. I hope that's been of some benefit to you as a solver, and uh, we certainly hope to see you again on Cracking the Cryptic. Bye for now.